Hey guys, welcome to God Williams Retouch once again. Today I'm going to show you how to color correct skin tones by using the gradient map. Now I've already finished working on this image and this is the final result I came up with. But I'm going to show you how to color correct the skin tones. And this is the changes, sorry, this is the changes I've made thus far. The, with the dodging, burning, etc. And healing. Now I'm going to show you how to use the gradient map to get an accurate gradient map of the image. And just to color correct the skin tones. Now you need to know with all these um all these changes you need to know exactly what what is the main color that you want to get out of the image because with all these changes there are some saturation shifts right here and it actually you can't really tell exactly what is the the global the main color so i usually recommend that you fix those issues before you apply a gradient map now to, to get the gradient map obviously I'm sure everyone knows what a gradient map is and how to use a gradient map but what I really want to show is how to get an accurate one and uh, to do that we get a shadow obviously a darker shadow, well, a mid tone, but more to the shadow side, then a mid tone, more to the highlights, and then you know you can get as much as as you, wa as you want, as long as it transitions smoothly, and then obviously white. So, and this is the gradient map I came up with, and. How do you know if it's accurate or not? Well, we have the colors, fine, but the saturation levels are not accurate. Well, I'm not sure yet. And to know if it's really accurate, you have to desaturate the entire image. And shift the gradient map on and off and as you can see it, it's not the same the lighting is not the same and you're focusing on the lighting on the skin not the entire image just where you want the gradient map and as you can see it's getting darker so we have to adjust the gradient map so it matches oops We want to make it brighter. We want to match the brightness and the contrast. It's still getting darker. So we're going to shift this until we have an even. Now we're not focusing on the lips or the eyes, we're just focusing on the skin. I think it needs to get darker again. Still needs maybe and now we're just gonna keep playing around with this until it's exactly the same. It's getting darker. Okay, I think I got it. Still getting darker. Now, for some reason, the shadows seem to everything else remains the same except the shadows 
I'm just gonna keep playing with it until maybe it's this. Okay, let's see what happens. Now pretty much it looks the same. It's just around these areas here. I think the gradient map is a bit too harsh or maybe the darks are too too black. I'm just gonna brighten it up a bit. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I think now it looks more even. So now let's turn on the gradient map and as you can see the only thing that really changes is the white. And so I'm gonna bring that out a bit. And there we have it. It's pretty much accurate. Now as you turn it on and off, really it's only thing that isn't. It's only the flower, the lips and the eye makeup that's changing. So it's pretty much accurate at this point. And now you can paint it wherever you feel it needs to be painted. Now you don't want to overdo it because you know what happens. The image tends to look fake. But I usually play around with my selective color when I finish with a gradient map and just shift the blacks and the whites in selective color so there you have it and this is the final image this was after all retouching was done before after before after pretty amazing. So basically in this video the point I was really trying to make or to show you guys is a lot of people know how to use gradient maps already but when they use the gradient map they're not sure exactly where on where on the gradient map where on the line should you put a specific color and that's what I was trying to show you and I hope after this video you can do it yourself and understand how do you know where to sample a specific color or when you do self sample it where should it be where on the gradient line should that color be and that's how you understand you saturate the image and you match and you try to match the contrast and the brightness of the black and white layer black and white image so I hope this helps and good luck with your retouching.